Okay, in this video, we are going to look into building a low voltage cutout for DC loads. This is my control box. And this is my input terminals for my 13 volt battery bank. This is my output terminals to my load. Now my load will be represented by this bulb, this 12 volt bulb. Now when the voltage drops below 10 volts, it's going to cut out the power to the load, to the bulb, and shut it down. Now this uh, circuit was built for a mountaintop repeater, a radio repeater which was solar powered and when the voltage dropped below 10 volts the system would become unstable so we had to shut off the power to the load. So right now I have 5.26 volts fed into the control box and you can see the load is off so I'll increase the voltage and she should come on around 13.6 volts so we'll take it up to the cut in voltage so right there the load came on. Now as the batteries drop in voltage when it hits around 10 volts, it should cut out. So there she cut out. And there's hysteresis about 3 volts. So cut in is around 13.6. We'll take it up there. The load comes on. Now the voltage has to drop to around 10 volts for the cutout to come on. So there's a, there's a hysteresis in there, so there's no chatter when the voltage starts dropping. So that's a little cutout box a low voltage cutout box and next we'll get into the schematic. Okay here's the schematic diagram of my low voltage cutout box. On the very left you can see the 12 volt battery bank input. There's my batteries which are feeding my load which is on the very right. Now the battery bank feeds the load through this relay. It's a solid state relay. It can handle 20 amps at 50 volts. Looks like this. It's one of these DC uh, solid state relays. So when the relay is energized, when the relay is on, it's feeding the 12 volts battery bank through the relay to the load. Now when the voltage on the batteries drop below 10 volts, this relay will open and disconnect the batteries to, uh, to the load. Now this circuitry here is what detects the, the, the voltage drop. So when the voltage drops below 10 volts, there's a comparator circuit using a C3140 op amp which will detect the drop, turn off this MOSFET transistor which will turn off the relay which is driving the load. So we start off with a voltage reference. I'm using a 1N4733 Zener diode. It's a 5 volt Zener diode in series with a switching diode to give it temperature compensation. So we have a, we have a voltage on pin 2 around 5 volts, which is temper, temperature compensated. And then we put a voltage divider across our battery bank with a potentiometer and we could adjust the voltage into pin 3 of the, of the op amp. So when the voltage of pin 3 is higher than the voltage of pin 2, the output pin 6 will be high, which will turn on the MOSFET, which will energize the the relay and turn on the power to the load. Now when the voltage drops below 10 volts, now the voltage on pin 2 will be higher than the voltage on pin 3 and pin 6 will go low and shut off the MOSFET transistor which will, which will shut off the relay. So that's how basically how our circuit works. Now to get hysteresis, our 3 volt hysteresis for our cut in and cut out, we use this feedback resistor, this 220k feedback resistor from pin 6 to pin 3 and that will give us a 3 volt uh, hysteresis and we could actually adjust that resistor for whatever hysteresis that you want. So when pin 6 goes low it's actually grounding this point so it's actually putting this 220k ohm resistor across this leg of the voltage divider and it's changing the trip point. So that's how we get our hysteresis of our circuit. Okay so now you know how the circuit works for this little low voltage cuddle box. So we'll open up the box and have a look inside. Okay all the screws have been removed from my metal enclosure. We can have a look inside. So the first thing you see is my DC relay. It's my DC relay here, which controls power to the load. Then I have my little control circuit board, and I mounted everything on a Vero board, a Vero strip board. And you can see my, my adjustment uh, potentiometer to, to set my cut-in uh, voltage. And there's my C3140 op amp. It's an 8-pin dip uh, package. There's my MOSFET transistor that drives the relay. And I have a little indicator LED which, which uh, comes on when the load is energized. So that's the circuit there. It's fairly simple and all mounts into this enclosure that we can set up. Then we can control the load for a low voltage cutout. Okay, so that's my low voltage cutout box. Now I've built a few of these. Some were a lot simpler using Texas Instruments TL431 and some were more complex using a microcontroller. But I just wanted to show this design to show how you can make a comparator out of an op amp how to build a temperature compensated voltage reference and how to incorporate a hysteresis in a comparator circuit and how to drive 
a DC solid state relay.